All right, whenever you're ready. All right, uh, we're here with one of the guys from Every Avenue for the Fearless Friends Tour 2010 in Colorado. Um, what's your name? My name's Jimmy. And what are you doing today? Yeah, I play guitar in Every Avenue. Sweet. All right, I just got some basic 10 questions. Uh, one of the questions, uh, well, two of the questions kind of coincide with each other. Okay. So I'll basically ask one, and then I'll ask the other, and then just give your opinion cool. on that. Um, our basic standard question, who is your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, feel free to name them in the shop they work at. Cool. Uh, current, most current guy that I've returned to the most, oh, his name is before, yeah. Shane, and uh, he works um, at this shop. I don't even know Shane's last name. I don't think of Shane, uh, I don't even know. His card's probably on my wallet. But uh, he works at a shop called Most Isley's in Grand Rapids, and uh, he's done most of my favorite stuff. He's done a lot at the bottom of this arm and then he's in Grand Rapids Michigan um, another guy that I really like who I need to go back to is again Chris Fox and um, he's also from Michigan working at a shop in Lansing he um, actually used to sing in this band called See You Next Tuesday and now he's just tattooing out in Michigan so sweet yeah I was supposed to interview Devil Wars Prada and uh, from what the PR company told me one of the dudes in that band just is opening up his own shop really well. That's sick. Um, this is going back to 03. Um, if, if you don't remember, it's cool. But uh, <laughs> when you guys first started out, um, why the switch of lead singers? Why did James decide to go to um, go from lead singer to tour manager? That was uh, that was even I don't I was even in the band then, and <laughs> I can't even. I honestly, I don't even think about James being a singer in the band at all. I think it's just like, I think it's one of those things that happened really fast, and it wasn't, it, I don't think it lasted a long time, the band didn't really like to tour like that. It was kind of when the band was, you know, kind of still getting its roots and stuff. But uh, James is he's one of my favorite people in the world, and, and I'm really glad that he was our tour manager for a while. We got to see him when we were just in Chicago. And he's, he's funny dude. He uh, runs his own uh, studio now with our old drummer in Chicago, recording studio. Um, these next two questions, they're basically go together. So, okay. um, now, if your guys' song, Where yeah, Were You, mm-hmm. has uh, not only been played on Yahoo Radio, Halo Radio, but was also featured on MTV Real World uh, Road News Challenge, The Gauntlet, and received more than 150,000 downloads on Mark Hoppus's Hi, My Name is Mark blog on iTunes. And also, your song, One, One More Song, was also featured on MTV's The Real World Hollywood, the Mexi Loco episode, as well as MTV's The Island. That's another great accomplishment, uh, especially to make it on MTV, period, is hard. Um, how does that make you guys feel as a fan to accomplish it? You know, something like that? It's awesome. Um, to be honest, a lot of the times we, we don't even realize that that stuff's happening until people are like friends back home or from wherever are texting us or hitting us up through emails and they're like, hey, we just heard you on TV because we're usually on tour most of the time, so we don't ever really get to see that. And it's cool. Recently, um, we were like getting random texts from friends back home. They're like, they just played you on like an NCAA game. That was, this is actually one of my questions. Oh, is it? We were like, <laughs> really? Like, we had no idea. That's awesome, though. It's really cool. Sweet. And um, with your new album, Picture Perfect, uh, what's the meaning behind it and the uh, inspiration of it? For the Picture Perfect, what we tried to do was to, to make a record basically um, kind of establishing the point that there's, perfect is never going to be a perfect, that uh, the, most, the most perfect things get are when they're, for lack of better words, fucked up. Like, right. You know what I mean? They're, uh, shit's always going to get messed up, but that's, that's what makes things worth it. Um, the song that we... I mean, the, the title track, Picture Perfect, is basically about that. It's about, you know, all the stuff that we've gone through playing in bands, you know, living out of bands. It's not it's not glamorous at all, but in, it's not wanting to change that for the world, you know. It's, it's all the stuff that makes it worth it, that makes it perfect. You know? Right on. And uh, this is the, going back to what you just mentioned. Now, your song, Picture Perfect, was featured in a montage during CBS's coverage of the 2010 NCAA Men's Basketball Championship game. Uh, in April of 2010. Uh, you guys keep getting plugged on TV. How does it happen? Is it love? Do you send your music out to MTV, CBS, etc.? Or is it just word of mouth that the TV series is just turned your music? I think, it, I think it's a, um, a combination. I think we're lucky to have the label that we have, Fearless, and 
we have some people that work for us. Uh, this company called Viva La Rock that works with a lot of uh, broadcasting and stuff like that, and they're amazing, amazing girls, and they, they really help us out a lot. And, and uh, I think we're just lucky to have the people that work for us that do. And um, on the album Punko's Classic Rock Volume 9, how was it doing the rendition of Eddie Muddy's song Take Me Home Tonight, which I actually uh, listened to that, and it's a pretty badass oh, version. So. And how was it working song. with uh, Juliet Sims from Monday Night uh, Love Letter? It's awesome. Um, that song, uh, we, had, we had a lot of fun doing it, but it was really, really tiring. We did it with uh, Mike Sapone in it was Long Island, New York. And we did it during a tour, so we had a day off, we went straight there, and we literally didn't leave for I think, 17 hours. We spent in there, and we're just dead and exhausted by the time we left. We didn't have any time to really sit down and, you know, hammer out certain details. We kind of went in the studio and just did it. And uh, we're stoked that it came out, and uh, Juliet is an awesome girl. We toured with them, you know, a few times, and they're, they're all awesome people, and we're, we're proud to work with them. Sweet. Um, you got any crazy fan stories or any tour stories, crazy tour stories? Uh, crazy tour stories. It's so hard. I feel like I have so many, but whenever someone asks me, I can never think of them. Um, I'm sure I have, a, I have a lot. I'm just trying to think of what's that. Uh, if anything has happened recently. I can't think of anything, anything funny right now. <laughs> I'm brain. As soon as soon as the interview's over, I'll think of a million things. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's man. how it happens. Um, now, do any of you guys have any have any kind of side project besides it, what you're doing right now? Um, I recorded some stuff a little while ago, um, just for fun. It's completely different. Um, I just wanted to record some songs that were a little bit different, and just to do it, just to make more music. And uh, Josh, our other guitar player, also records and makes you know does a lot of you know, focus and music and. Dave, our singer, writes songs too that, you know, obviously don't become every of these songs, but not every song, you know, just work, but um, we all kind of just write on our own and really just, you know, try to try to flex our uh, musical brain muscles if we can, just try to stay. stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, you guys got any big plans for the future, any new albums coming out, music videos, any, any other tours, what can your fans expect? Yeah, we, uh, we actually just started writing a new album. Um, once this tour is over, we're going back to actually we're going to Nashville for about half a month to start working on some more writing for the record. And then after that, we're doing a few holiday shows. Um, Soundwave in Australia, uh, February, March, and then hopefully doing the record during around all that time. And then um, we'll see this summer, quite possibly, Warp Tour and hopefully a new record. Sweet man, I definitely thank you for taking the time yeah. out to interview with Slinger Magazine. Oh, yeah. and definitely appreciate